All right, I'm going to go over 45 and 46. We're going to do some composition of functions to show that they're inverses of each other. And then uh, that's about it. And then we're going to go over the homework from the other day, as well as one more example problem, which was another tough one. Um, that's about it. All right. So someone said that 45 and 46 are not tough. So instead of doing 45 and 46, then let's do an example from your homework. You choose, you pick, you decide. Which one do you want to do? It doesn't matter. Whatever one you want to do is the one we're going to do. All right, 45 and 46 it is. Okay. So first I need to do f of g of x, or I could do g of f of x. Either way, it doesn't matter. But I need to do fog and Goff both. So f of g and g of f of x. So for f Okay, what was the dolly joke? If there were two Mr. Russells, the world would be a better place. <laughs> All right, f of g of x. This means that I plug g of x in everywhere I see an x in this problem. So this is going to be x minus 1 plus 1 x minus 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so it would be x plus 0, which is just x. Thanks, I appreciate it. To do g of f of x, it's the opposite way. I have to plug f in to g everywhere I see an x. So this would be uh, x plus 1 getting plugged into x minus 1. So it's x plus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. It gives me just x. Since these are both x's, they are inverses. And you don't even have to write that. Once I see that they're both x's, I know it's an inverse. All right, number 46. I'm going to do the same process here. G of f of x. And f of g of x. So g of f of x means I put this in for x. 2x minus 6 over 2 plus 3. Since I'm dividing all of this by 2, 2 divided by 2 is just x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. x minus 3 plus 3. Those cancel. I'm left with x. Doing f of g of x, opposite way. I think I erased a little too much there, but that's okay. It means I'm plugging this in for x. That's 2 times x over 2 plus 3 minus 6. Distribute my 2. 2 times x is 2. Divided by 2 is just x. 2 times 3 is 6. So that's plus 6 minus 6. Those cancel, it's just X. The second one here. 
2 x divided by 2 is just x. 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's just x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then negative 3 plus 3. All right, I just divided everything. Yep. All right, so that's those ones. This is a difficult one that would have been just finding an inverse. So whenever we needed to find the inverse of this, do you remember what we did? First substitute y in, keep the equation the same, 3 times x minus 1 over x minus 2. Flip your x and y, so it's x over here. And then everywhere you see an X becomes a Y. And now we have to solve for a Y. So the first thing I would do to get rid of a fifth root is raise it to the fifth power. That'll cancel your root and the power out. So now I have X to the fifth equals 3y minus 1 over y minus 2. Multiply both sides by y minus 2. That'll cancel this out. I have y minus 2 times x to the fifth, so I have to distribute my x to the fifth. It gives me x to the fifth y minus 2x to the fifth equals 3y minus 1. Now I need to get my y's together on the same side, so I'm going to subtract this over. So minus x to the fifth y, minus x to the fifth y. I also want to get rid of this one, so I'm going to add it to the other side. This cancels out. That's going to cancel out. I have negative 2x to the fifth plus 1 equals 3y minus x to the fifth y. Now, both of these terms have a y in them, so I can factor a y out. Pull the y out in front, and it's 3 minus x to the fifth, and negative 2x to the fifth plus 1. And now I just divide by 3 minus x to the fifth. give me y equals negative 2x to the fifth plus 1 over 3 minus x to the fifth. Okay, number 9. Jeff, do them all. I don't even remember. Okay, <clears throat> start with number 9 by flipping my, or putting a y in first y equals negative x. Flip your x and y. Gives you x equals negative y. And now solve for y. That means I divide by a negative 1. Negative cancel. I get y equals negative x. Done. <clears throat> Number 10. y equals negative x plus 1. Flip your y and x. x equals negative y plus 1. Subtract the 1 over. x minus 1 equals negative y. Divide by a negative 1. It gives you negative x plus 1 equals y.
number 11. <clears throat> y equals 5x squared minus 4. Flip my x and y. x equals 5y squared minus 4. And now solve for y. Add the 4 over. Gives you x plus 4 equals 5y squared. Divide by 5. y squared equals x plus 4 over 5. I take the square root of both sides. Y equals the square root of x plus 4 over 5. So far, so good. Number 12. y equals negative 3x squared plus 5. Flip my variables. x equals negative 3y squared plus 5. Start by subtracting 5. Divide by negative 3 now. y squared equals x minus 5 over negative 3. Take the square root of both sides. That cancels that out. I get y equals the square root of x minus 5 over negative 3. <clears throat> Number 13. y equals 5 minus 2x cubed. Flip those. x equals 5 minus 2y cubed. Subtract 5. x minus 5 equals negative 2y cubed. Divide by negative 2. y cubed equals x minus 5 over negative 2. Take the cube root, cancel your cube out, and that's your final answer. Y equals the cube root of x minus 5 over negative 2. Good. Number 14, x equals y to the fifth plus 1 cubed. Now I'm getting good now. First, I have to take the cube root of both sides. It gives me the cube root of x equals y to the fifth plus 1. Subtract the 1 over now. That's the cube root of x minus 1 equals y to the fifth. And then take the fifth root of both sides. y equals the fifth root of the cube root of x minus 1. All this intelligence is making me thirsty. Number 15 of the x equals the square root of 4y minus 7. Get rid of the square root. I square both sides x squared equals 4y minus 7. Add the 7 over. x squared plus 7 equals 4y. Divide by 4. y equals x squared plus 7 over 4.
number 16 x equals 5 plus the square root of 3y minus 2. Subtract the 5 first. x minus 5 equals the square root of 3y minus 2. Square both sides. x minus 5 squared equals 3y minus 2. Add the 2 over x minus 5 squared plus 2 equals 3y. Divide by 3. y equals x minus 5 squared plus 2 over 3. Yes. No. You could do x minus 5 squared equals not x squared minus 10. It would equal x squared minus 10x plus 25 because x minus 5 squared is x minus 5 times x minus 5 and you have to FOIL that. And then you could uh, add your 2 over to that and get x squared minus 10x plus 27 and divide that by 3. That could be your answer. So you could have multiplied this out. There would be nothing wrong with it as long as you did it correctly. Make sense? <clears throat> Number 17. This would be x equals 1 over y. Now I just have to flip this. Remember, this is like x over 1. It gives you y equals 1 over x. So your inverse is the same as the original. And then last one x equals 1 over the square root of y. I'll do the same as I just did and flip it. It gives me 1 over x equals the square root of y. Then square both sides. It gives me 1 squared, which is 1, over x squared equals y. 